what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today i have an exciting video for us we're going to be talking about what i got my kids for christmas i have two boys one is one and a half and one is four and a half and if you're into videos like this give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button but let's get started so first i'm going to talk about what i got my youngest cameron He's one and a half. Um, a good thing to do is to get toys that are both educational and good with like motor skills and development. So that's kind of the thing that I look for the most when I buy toys. Um, so one thing that I did get him this year is called a spin again. Now this is one of those um, you put rings you put on and it kind of spins around. It's a sta it's a stacking toy. But it's a little more than your standard like Fisher Price stacking toy. This one's more for like coordination and um, it keeps their attention a little bit more because as it falls, it has this little spinning thing that happens. So and all of the the rings are like different shapes. They're not just your standard, you know, round ring. So he's gonna love that. I can't wait for him to see that. And um, next. I have this Melissa and Doug. I love Melissa and Doug. Um, it's this safari animal rescue truck. Um, basically, you put the animals um, into the spaces where they um, go, and then they can also, you know, use the truck and put things in it. And it's really cute. Um, gotta love Melissa and Doug. Their products last a really long time, and they're very good quality. So that's that. Um, next I have um, a leapfrog adventure bus um, this helps with numbers and colors and shapes so this is also a good learning toy then I have another leapfrog item this one's called scouts build and discover tool set and it's for two years plus um, it is basically like they have the tools here and this is a toolbox and you can kind of build it says you're building scouts little house so it helps with numbers again colors shapes you're fitting the tools in a different um, places where they go so really good um, um, you know counting and measuring type of little toy he's gonna love this so and also most of the toys that I got um, came from Amazon, Target, um, TJ Maxx. So that's that. This one, um, who doesn't love Mickey? This is a Mickey Roadster Racer doll. Um, he says a bunch of phrases and he's, he's just super cute. Um, Cameron loves anything Mickey so this will be a big hit if you know what I mean. So. That'd be great. I'm sure Kaden is probably going to want to play with that too. Next up, I have this Let's Dance Elmo. Cameron is definitely the dancer in the household. So he's going to get a kick out of this. Elmo likes to move. Let's see. Let's see what he does. So this is him. Are you ready to move and groove with Elmo? La 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 la. La 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 la. Elmo's world. Super cute. Okay gonna love that then for Cameron I have this VTech smart shot sports center this kid loves soccer and so when I saw that I was like okay this is for him because there's a little um, goal the soccer ball and then there's the basketball hoop as well so there's a few games on here that he can play it's for 12 months to 36, so it's right at the right age. Um, good for coordination. So um, this is really going to help him with that, and he's going to have a blast. Up next, I have, let's see, I'm going to go this way. Back here, we have... Um, this is a Fisher Price Little People's. Uh, let's see what it says. Skyway, I think it says. What's the name of this? 
little people take turns skyway um so basically let me turn it this way basically uh it's pretty tall it's about the size of a two-year-old <laughs> um they basically take turns putting the car at the top and watching it go down and there's different paths where the car will end up and so it teaches kids how to take turns so him and his brother will love playing with this um this is probably going to be the favorite toy because both of them love cars so even though it's a little bit young for his brother Caden Caden is still going to play with this a lot um so I think this is going to be a big hit this was $29.99 at Target so um yeah really really cute toy that's for Caden uh Cameron and then some stocking stuffers that I got for Cameron are these cute little Mickey um, and Goofy water toys. So I got a bunch of them actually. And I also got Paw Patrol. We've got Marshall, Rumble. Oh, here's Donald. Um, who is this? This is... I forget their names. Mm, yeah. These other two. <laughs> so, he's going to love those for playing bath time. Kit loves bath time. And Cameron also has one more gift coming that's not here yet. It's a, um, it's the same as this one, Fisher Price Little Peoples. And it is a safari habitat. So, it's it's kind of the same theme where it's like, you have a little, um, the little people and a big kind of safari type thing. I mean, it's really cute. Um, I'll probably post a picture here. If not, I'll put a link down below. And here we have his big ticket item is this, uh, little tykes Jeep. Um, he doesn't have a car yet. Um, so I think that he'll really love this. We went to a birthday party and he wouldn't stop playing with it. So I'm really excited to see how he reacts when he sees that. Um, we gotta make sure it's all put together so when they wake up in the morning, you know, that's the first thing he sees with a big bow on it. So that'll be really cute. That'll be one of the main items that I won't wrap. It'll just be put together already. Okay, so that is it for Cameron. Now we're going to go move on over to Caden, my four and a half year old. Um, with Caden, he's learning how to read right now. So I wanted to really focus on books and learning um, items that help him with reading. So he knows all his you know, alphabet and his sounds. So we're working on um, putting the words together. So I got him a ton of books. These are all level one books. Um, basically, the words are very simple. There's a lot fewer. There's a lot fewer words in each page. Let's see. Big dump trucks. You know, three words per page, something like that. Simple for them to read. Old truck, new truck, yummy food truck. You know, simple. The words repeat, so you see truck a lot, you see old, you see new, so that they memorize these sight words. So it's these are really good books for your kids learning how to read. And I will link these. I got all of these, well, most of these from Amazon, and a few of them at Target, but Amazon was like the main place where I got probably like at least 10 or 12 from Amazon. Um, may I have a cookie, please? Teaches them about manners as well. Really, really cute book. So I highly recommend these um, Step Into Reading books. Okay. So he is going to... If I have anything to do about it, he's going to learn how to read in 2019 for sure. He will be reading before he starts kindergarten. Okay. So got him a little car to go in his stocking. Um, as well as his brother, we did get some water toys. I was going to open these and put them in his stocking, but I think I'm going to probably just leave them out like this. These are, um, Cars 3 cars. My kid is in love with anything cars and especially the cars series. 
He has all the movies. He has so many of the characters. This is like, you know, his thing right now. One of his favorite things right now. Um, so that's that. Also picked up walkie talkies, Cars 3 walkie talkies. So that's gonna be a big hit with Kaden. Um, going along with the Cars theme. He has a track set that he got last year. Um, so I got him some more cards to go along with that. But this will also go with another present that I got him that you'll see in a moment. Down there. Um, here we have magnet tiles. If you don't know about magnet tiles, you need to really go on YouTube and look this up. These are like, I just found out about them about a month ago, I'm not going to lie. But apparently this this is the it toy in schools. This is what the kids, you know, play with. It's a building it's a building toy. Um they spend hours well not at school obviously, but they spend hours at home I've I've read and heard. Um so we're gonna see if this really keeps them busy. And you know, it's a good good kind of you know, developmental kind of thing too. So I've seen him play with these at school, never knew what they were. But now I know. So I bought a couple boxes. Um, I, these are the actual magnet tiles. These are the ones that are like the, the first generation, the main one. And now, now there's a lot of knockoffs. Um, but these are really pricey. So if you can find a knockoff, they're just as good. I mean, I would say go for it. Um, what I did was I got one box of these. And then I got a bigger box of Picasso tiles, which is one of the good, you know, knockoffs. I would say they're probably the second best next to magnet tiles. So, um, and they're compatible with each other. So you can save a little money if you do that. Go that route. So he's going to love that. Then I have a game. Um, we always like to get him a game because we love playing games together. This is Guess Who. Um, I loved playing this when I was a kid. So I think he'll get a kick out of that. Um, then one thing he did ask me for, he said he wanted Lightning McQueen and Cruz Crash and Smash cars. So that's what these are. These are Lightning McQueen and Cruz Smash and Crash. Um, the remote control cars. Basically, you smash them into the wall and they come apart, but they don't really come apart. And then you just put them back together. And I got one of his friends one of these for his birthday, and Kanan wanted it so bad so he told me mom make sure you give me one and I said okay so he wanted two and he got two so we're done with cars so <laughs> for a little bit um and then here's another um learn to read type of toy he has a leapfrog um leap start which is basically um this tool where you can play book or add books to it and then there's little lessons that you can use and you have a little stylus and it's a really good um a good tool to have helping them read another tool to help them read help them with their letters counting all those different things you can buy different books and there's different lessons so um this one's all about learning to read because that's the theme for 2019 <laughs> and then this one is a math one so. That, that would be very helpful. Okay, another thing he mentioned that he wanted, since there's movies coming out, is Bumblebee. So we got him Transformer Bumblebee. Um, this one says six years old and up, so I probably um, will have to help him with this, but Kate is pretty so smart, so I'm pretty sure that it'll be fine. Um, there's a lot of steps to get it to go back and turn into the the beetle so we'll probably just have him play with it in it's the state right here and then you know in a couple months maybe we'll convert it to the car and he'll just play with it as a car you know we won't just keep going back and forth but um because I think it actually has like 17 steps so I'm gonna need to like really go on YouTube and get a crash course on how to convert it to the beetle but um, for now, it's just a cute toy. Like, he'll play with it like this. He won't care. He'll just be happy to have one. So, that's that. 
Um, next, um, he's into Paw Patrol. And every year I get him something Paw Patrol to go along with the rest of his, you know, Paw Patrol stuff. So he has all the characters, he has all the cars for the characters, he has a lookout. Um, so this year what came out is the fire truck. So that was a big toy this year. Um, and I got him that. It comes with a Marshall and a little car. Um, so... You know, he will love it. He loves Paw Patrol. What little boy doesn't? So, this will be a hit. And Cameron, I'm sure, was going to love this too. Okay, Elmo. <laughs> okay. Next, I got him this little scooter. This is a Mongoose Force 1.0. It's a folding scooter. Um... He played with a scooter at a friend's birthday, and ever since then he's been asking about it, so I figured, why not? These aren't very expensive. They're, this was about $29, so. And it folds away really easy. You can take it with you um, if you need to, so it's really, really handy. Um, he's already got a bike. He's already got a Hot Wheel, you know, Power Wheel kind of car. So I said, why not um, a scooter now? So, so this will be fun. While his brother's in his car, he can ride this, or he can ride his bike, whatever he wants. Kid has enough. <laughs> then we have... Um, Incredibles 2. I got this at JCPenney's um, on Black Friday. This car, remote control car, was originally $40, and I got it for 10 bucks. So even though this is not something he's like real big on, we did see the movie in Incredibles 2. He did love it, but he hasn't been asking about this. But I'm sure when he sees it, he's going to go crazy over it. It's a really big car. It's a nice car. It lights up and makes sounds and everything. So um, I'm sure he'll get a kick out of it. And $10? I mean, how was I going to pass that up? You know, JCPenney's has some really good deals on Disney toys. Like... You, who would think? But if you go in there, they have this huge section on, on Disney. So, um, also got, you know, his cars, his little toy, bath toy cars. And before, I've gotten a lot of Disney stuff from there. So, you might want to check out JCPenney. They have really good sales on Disney stuff. Okay, and one of Kaden's big ticket items, or the big, no, it's not the big, it's the second biggest. Um, he saw this Mack truck in Target and he had to have it. So what's cool about this is it converts to a track. So not only do you get to play with Mack and put all the cars in, but it also opens up and you can, it's, it's basically a track. So he can play with all his cars that he just got with it. And it's a motorized track, so they'll just continue to go. And um, and then Mac, also, he can play with. He makes sounds. You know, the roaring sounds. So, he is going to die when he sees this. So, that's great. Um, I actually have a Hot Wheels set that I need to find. It's somewhere in this house. I hid it from him because I bought it back when... Toys R Us was closing, so I got it at a really good discount, and I hit it, and I don't remember where I hit it, so I gotta find that. Um, it's a really cool, it's called Hot Wheels, um, I believe it's like a smash and crash, you know, there's a bunch of cars going, and they like smash into each other, and something like that, but he loves Hot Wheels, anything car related he loves, so, so I'll have that track, and have this track, um, so... As soon as I find it, I'm going to add that to the collection. And then basically, Caden's big ticket item he got this year is a Nintendo 2DS XL. So this one has Mario Kart 7 already pre-installed. So we didn't get him any games. This will be just the game that he has for a while. Um, and this thing runs $149. So... Um, he probably won't get a game until his birthday or something. We don't tend to buy the kids toys throughout the year. 
they might get a couple on their birthday but they mostly get clothes on their birthday and then christmas is when we kind of spoil them so you know that's what he'll have until um his birthday and then christmas again so you know he has all this stuff so why would we buy him toys throughout the year when he's got all of this um and then i just got the case to go with it to keep it you know nice and safe and that basically is it so i hope you enjoyed my video today please click subscribe and give your girls a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and check me out later bye bye